Megan, what was your mindset going into your first fleet to start today? Uh, just try to throw a lot of first pitch strikes because I know I have really good defense to back me up. Are there any nerves? I mean, a little bit. I mean, it was more anxious just to get it over with. You hadn't pitched outside, I think, in, at least in your scrimmages for a few weeks. Yeah. Was, was that a little bit of an adjustment today? Uh, not really because we, we scrimmage a lot in the fall outside, so I got a bunch of innings out there. Robert, obviously with your home run, I mean, you, you felt like you hit pretty well by your judging, by your reaction. Was there a moment walking up the first baseline where you kind of were a little worried that wind might catch it or something like that? Whenever I looked back, yeah, uh, I saw the I saw the way the flags were blowing, and uh, I thought I hit it over the bleachers, and then I saw the outfitter like go to catch it, and so I got a little worried there. But, um, and then if you look, of course, the next couple of innings, there's like five balls that should have been out that didn't go, so. Um, I guess you got to have some real man strength to hit it out today. Hagan, for you, uh, obviously you look pretty comfortable out there. It seemed like you settled in early. Was there a moment early in like maybe the first inning where you kind of gathered yourself and you know, realized, oh, I can pitch at this level, like I'm good, like get the nerves out of the way? Yeah, it was probably after the first inning I just realized. I mean, it's really easy to pitch with our defense behind, so that made me real comfortable. Robert, I'm sure you know this. The majority of your hits last year came from the left side. Most of your power came from the left side. Do you feel like you've gotten better from the right side of the plate? Uh, I think so. I mean, if you uh, um, the way we train and how, how hard we work, and um, you know, we uh, the way Coach Thompson and Coach Bobby and uh, you know our left-handed VP thrower Josh, uh, who work with us every single day, and um, you know, you always change things from time to time, and you get a little bit better. If you get one percent better every single year, um, you know, the only thing that you can really do as a player is evaluate if I'm a better player today than I was a year ago, okay, that's a good thing. And uh, if you can say that every year of your career, then you're doing something special. So uh, I feel like uh, thanks to the help of our coaching staff and, uh, and Josh and um, you know everyone that is involved in our program, you can even throw our strength and conditioning guys, uh, Blaine and Zeus in there, um, that help us get just a little bit better every single year. Coach Van Horn was talking about the energy was a lot better today in your dugout and he indicated that he thought a lot of it had to do with how Hagen was pitching. I wonder what were your thoughts uh, today versus yesterday in terms of energy? Well, when your starter goes six innings, no runs. You struck out five? Good energy. <laughs> um, it's, it's easy. It's easy to have a lot of energy. And, um, you know, I, yesterday, I mean, you know, we have a lot of new guys in this team and, you uh, Nerves, nerves are real. So uh, you know, just just doing it a little bit more, having just one extra at bat, uh, waking up uh, one extra day playing baseball, and it kind of subsides all that. Um, you know, that that's another that's a reality too. Robert, having been around him now this whole off season and seeing a pitch today, what have you? What's most impressed you about Hagen so far? Um, there's a lot of things. I would say. Uh, the ability to repeat and throw as many strikes as he does and the pace that he works at. So the pace that he he works at is quick. And not only is he doing the first, second, third, but even the back half, you saw in the fifth and sixth, he kept the same pace. And that's hard to do. Um, and Hagen makes it look pretty easy. But, um, you know, that's why uh, some guys pitch in the bullpen because they can only do it one or two innings. Hagen can keep his pace for five, six innings, 80, 85 pitches. Um, I would say that's pretty impressive. And, um, you know, if you watch our PFPs uh, throughout the week, um, you know, it, like I said, it's kind of hard for pitchers to throw to bases. Hagen is able to pick off and throw to bases and, and do comebackers. There's a lot of things that kind of impress me about Hagen. And um, I guess the other thing is uh, even being, uh, what are you, 18? Yeah. 18. Uh, you know, just how well he gets along with everyone. That's hard to do, too. So, um, you know, I, I can go on if you want me to, but uh, there's you, you'll see uh, a lot of zeros in Hagen's column for the rest of the year. And also in the, the scrimmages we saw leading up to the season, King Wallace had been tearing uh, the cover off the ball. It went over yesterday. How nice was it to see him you know, get some hits and RBI today and everything at the plate? Well, yesterday, I think even though he went over it, he had one ball, it should have been a home run, um, depending on uh, what type of wind we have that day. I think he hit it over 100 miles an hour. Um, and then today, um, you know, he, he's barreled three or four balls um, and just keep having good at-bats. Um, it's, it's hard to evaluate hitters uh, and people get down themselves and some people get, get too high. But 
you really can't evaluate until a player has about 100 at bats, and then you can look and you can self evaluate. Until then, it's just, yeah, I had a good day, I had a bad day. Uh, you think the world's falling on you. Until you have 100 at bats, you really can't evaluate a whole lot. Hey, you have the bases loaded mm -hmm. in one of the early innings, I can't remember which. And there are better hitters coming up. Can you step us through maybe how you got? I think Sir Mac was one. Yeah, of I think it was Sir Mac. Yeah, I mean, I just try to uh, attack him because we went over in our pitchers meeting that throw inside to him. He can't handle like heater inside, so I just try to throw inside, and then if he hit it, I know he can turn double play. I think we had one out, the base loaded. Yeah. yeah. And then McCall. Mm -hmm. I think Byron. Mm -hmm. What did you do on him? I threw three sliders in a row. <laughs> I just, I mean, after I threw the first slider, I saw that I just need to do it two more times. When the bases were loaded. Coach Hobson come out and talk to you. Mm. They just let you work through that. Did that give you confidence? Is that something you notice on the mound? Oh, yeah, it gave me confidence a lot. I mean, it shows that he trusts me a lot when I pitch. And you had a couple of double plays behind mm. you today, but I thought there were some other defensive plays. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, uh, for instance, in the third, Webb backed up Slavens when he left his feet and kept that from being an extra base hit. Mm. What did you think of the defense that they provided for you? I think our defense is best in the country, so it's really easy to pitch when you have them behind you.